it's just a great day for um, full forwards and uh, I don't know, I, I don't remember him missing too many and uh, neither did Ablett. Hi, I'm Suki Hobson. I'm the strength scientist here at Essendon Football Club and I'm very lucky to work here with uh, 26 other females who rock. Hi, I'm Mark Bagulli, 25-year-old defender from Frankston. I've just come off the rookie list and I'm ready to play my first game against Port Adelaide. Uh, well, I was just playing at Frankston in the VFL and um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get rookie drafted to Essendon. I played footy for fun, not really, not really a serious footballer. I, pl I played to play with my friends and just for a, for a bit of a hobby and then when, when that time came around, when I, I tried to further myself in football, I, uh, I realised that I, I really had a shot at making the elite level and that's when I started to knuckle down. I thought the hard work was getting drafted, but you realise once you get drafted that the hard work's just started, you know, you're on the list, but you need to compete with everyone on the list for that spot in the senior side, so yeah, it took a long time, but um, yeah, I eventually got there and yeah, I'm just really excited now. I actually started as a forward when I was yeah, playing in the VFL and switched to the back line uh, probably two years ago. So yeah, I do feel most comfortable in defence, but yeah, I can go forward if, if needed. So I live with uh, David Myers and Travis Collier, both from Western Australia, and uh, we've got two dogs here. We've got uh, Charlie, who's a Labrador, he's about 18 months old, and then we've got Toby, who's the new addition to the family. He's uh, about 10 weeks old and he's a Border Collie. Um, yeah, I spoke to them about it last night and they were both pretty happy for me. <laughs> I'm just getting my gear ready, packing my bag for Port Adelaide and I'm um, not sure what we're going to need so I'll just take everything. Uh, yeah, you probably do have a bit of a look around and um, have to pinch yourself that you're playing in the AFL but probably a lot of excitement but also I'm nervous as well and uh, probably just looking forward to, to when the game starts, you know, get all the waiting out of the way and just get into the game. Uh, we see a big game this afternoon for those Bombers. One name you see there, number 46, Mark Bagley. He is playing his first game up off the rookie list. He was at Frankston uh, last year, 25 years of age. We wish him all the best this afternoon. Bagley's shown a little bit in his first game of AFL footy, 15 disposals and worked quite well defensively today. 50 point victory here at Amy Stadium. 19-13-127 to 11-11-77. have a win and you know uh, yeah, I was getting nervous every day you know but I was just just waiting to get out there and then just play my role. Uh, I heard you just said keep doing all the things you've been doing in the VFL and you'll be up. Each week your votes decide the true value bomber of the round. From a game where goals could have been hard to find the nominations are David Myers long bomb. That is a massive kick from Myers. Just a quick kick out, that's just pure distance. It's a long kick. David Hill and his two inside a minute with the game up for grabs late in the third term. Now Hill, he's hurried the kick onto the right boot, but his instincts were right, and Essendon are back in front. And welcome back, Gumby. After almost two years on the sidelines, Scott Gumbleton returned with 14 possessions, five marks and three glorious goals. It's a big patch of footy in the VFL where he's played solid footy rather than brilliant, but that's a goal and that's a confidence booster. And look at the love for him. Congratulations to Scott Chesham, who was one of many to vote for Gumbleton's comeback as this week's TVB. He'll be part of the season-ending draw for the True Value Solar Energy Package valued at $3,000. Visit the website for full terms and conditions. Hi, I'm Suki Hobson. I'm the strength scientist here at Essendon Football Club and I'm proud to promote AFL Women's Round. 
My first job was in rugby league in England, then I've worked in soccer, Premier League soccer, and I worked in um, Olympic sports, the academy system. So I've worked through the, the Queensland Academy of Sport, I was there for seven years, been through two Olympic cycles, and then I met our performance director, Dean Robinson, at a conference uh, where I presented on some of my ACL work. And, and based on that meeting, he brought me down to Geelong to do some work with Josh Hunt and Adam Varco, and then that turned into a they rang me up and offered me a full-time job, and then I followed Dean to Essendon. Basta. Beautiful. And that's how you do it. So it's a bit of a different week this week. Um, fingers crossed Gus is up for selection for the first team. Uh, we've got a six-day turnover. It's our first one in a long time. So we've changed our main training dates. Um, so we're just getting him ready to be available to be selected for Friday's game against Geelong. I'm all for women in sport. I'm not for women in sport because you've got to fill a quota or you've got to do any of that. You've, you earn the right to be here and you do that by um, your work and the way you work. Um, and if you earn it on an equal footing, then great. We're going to do three plus three. You know the score, I'm going to put this through, you. through your ankles. Go with a neutral grip chin. I like winning, but it's, to me it's not the be all and end all. I would like to put together the best program possible and, um, and work with the people that want to be the best they can be. The rest will come. That's my motivation for work. It's funny, we talk about um, the studies out there that when there's a female in the room, the, um, your testosterone level naturally lifts um, and that obviously is quite useful to start off with because that's what we're trying to achieve we're trying to achieve testosterone increases and hormonal increases etc etc and but I think at the point we're at the point now where I don't get seen as a female <laughs> I'm just one of the boys they're starting to tell me all the stories and you know when the stories come out that you know you're no longer you're no longer seen as a as a chick <laughs> Myself and Sandra Cruz, our VFL club doctor, are very proud to have been nominated for Football Woman of the Year. Um, and we're very lucky to work here with uh, 26 other females who rock. Woo! <laughs>、Uh, one day off a week at Tuesday, so、uh, a few of the boys go to uni or study and stuff like that. And,、um, Me and Carl Hardyham、um, come here and work once a week. 